Monday, the 4th of September, 2023. All right, YouTube, so I am going to play a trade, risking 0.3%. Here we go, today, uh, Monday, the very first day of a new week. Here is how the trade look like on uh, trading view. I am targeting Armour 3R, and uh, yeah. So that is the very first trade of the week. I'm going to give you updating. Right now is A0 section, and uh, for now, this is the only trade that I can see. Hello YouTube, so I'm going to have another order on the same pair with the same uh, TP and, and my stop up is here risking uh, 1, 2 Alright YouTube, so uh, I should open another tree on the same pair, CHF, GBY, here's how it looks like on trading view, line market condition. I have a look at all the pairs and I didn't see any opportunity that I can actually execute. Then uh, on the pair that I am seeing the potential, it actually given me the better entry so I enter another trade with a stronger stop up but a uh, same tech profit and I get that the that's it for a zero section am I risking three thousand for nine thousand price hit TV I got ten at uh, nine thousand so uh just done for a section. I'm going to keep you updating. Here you have the uh, straight copy I look like. Everything is working fine. When I'm trading a lot of accounts at the same time, I have to accept that sometimes I'm going to miss some pips due to spread difference between brokers, but I'm okay with that. And I got, I gonna find my way to rest properly. All right, I'm gonna see you on the next update. Hello YouTube. So uh, now it's Friday, non fan payroll, and uh, I have uh, no intention to uh, continue trading. So uh, I'm taking my wife to uh, a mountain, and uh, we're going for a hike. I'm gonna see you up there and I'll show you uh, the beautiful city and uh, ocean and yeah, let's go. So the thing as a trader that we stay in the in front of the computer a lot and I was thinking that I'm going to go out once I make it but it just not really the way it should be we have a light we have a, a beautiful light to live and every time i went out the nature it helped me so much not only mentally but also give me clarity in my path and also really heal my back and yeah a lot of things i believe that you may not find in front of the truck but you may find in the nature in the nature when you spend time with yourself and yeah or with someone you love so i'm gonna keep you updating on the way to the top here is the ocean and here is the mountain and a beautiful sky this is actually why I do this series. I want to not only bring trading, light trading, every single execution, but also giving you like the atmosphere, the freedom. Freedom not only to live, to enjoy life,
but also to take care of yourself to really be there for you because you are the one that should love yourself first before anyone else and don't wait until you lost your health don't wait until you hurt your back start now and enjoy every single little thing in life see you on the top Here's a mountain Sit is a view you get when you come to the top So uh, the kind of view is what I want everyone to see because when we are a trader and especially if we just started trading and we have a no win, no PNL, and we're just not profitable. We feel less about ourselves. We lock ourselves behind the door, and no one seems to really understand what we are going through. We feel very lonely on this journey itself. But beside growing as a trader, we got to growing as a human being as well, because without the balance of mind without the peace of mind even we win do you do you think that we can actually keep that money or like find the choice to actually spend that money and really be happy <sighs> this view is free and a lot of things in life not actually require money but it requires our time, it requires our attention, and it requires our heart to be full of love and gratitude. So I'm gonna enjoy the view with my wife, my love, and I'm gonna wish you the best in this journey, and I'm gonna see you on the next trading day. Look at that. Tuesday, the 5th of September, 2023. Hello YouTube, so I want to update on the trade I just opened on GBB CAD and uh, here is the opening trade so uh, yesterday I so yesterday I lost 4 trade and uh, most of them are Switzerland pairs so in the holiday is quite ranging and my strategy did not work well so that is something to uh, to be aware of and uh, there are cold relations in the pairs that I trade but I understood that and that was the risk that I took so no complaint I'm gonna just try my best to do it better and uh, learn from my loss and move on so come back to the trade today. We have a Euro Australia from uh, yesterday and we have a Britain Bell Canadian dollar for today. So here how the trade look like on our uh, trading view pretty uh I am selling from this resistance to this support. And the risk reward for this trade is around I think it is around uh, four, yeah, four point six. And here is my stop loss. Here is my take profit. I'm using just basically trend line support resistance, and my entry model is based on people retracement, and my target is based on uh, the next key level and people extension. Nothing really complicated. So I'm going to see you on the next update. Currently is A0 section. And uh, that is the only trade that I see. So uh, probably I will come back with a new update later. See you.
Hello YouTube, so uh, I want to update uh, the current situation. We are still in Asia session. Right now, here is all of my opening trade. Two trade is on uh, Arrow AUD. One trade on Arrow NZD and one trade in uh, GBB CAD. So uh, that is all the trade I have right now. We have a one trade very close to stop lock. We have a no trade close today. One bending order close. So on arrow NZD, I have a one sell limit and it's a ticker. So here you have the trade loop on a trading view. Written bell CAD. Price go very close to my stop lock, and then it currently is right here. On Euro NCD, here's my uh, feeble retracement. I'm selling at uh, 61.8, targeting the feeble extension. And uh, I just opened another tree on uh, Euro AUD as well using. This screen right here, people retracement with the resistance level right here, targeting feeble extension. And as you can see right here, one trade just got stopped out. So we have our one losing trade for today. We have our three opening trade. And here is uh, total risk exposure and uh, the potential reward I may get. So I think that's it for Asia. I'm going to keep you updating in uh, London or New York if there's something change. Choosing losing streak. I, I don't let the loss define me like who I am or my values based on the luxury. I keep following my routine, create a plan trade my plan and it is too soon to say anything so we got to have a more sample side we got to manage risk and keep going so far you can see that all my trading losses they are all at the same losing side which is 0.3% or 1500 on 500k account during this loss it is very possible to lose ourselves in the market and have a, an imbalanced life. That's the reason why I now don't really give a shit about CPNL, but really just focus on my trading strategy, my observation, my analysis, and I just follow what I have at a trading plan and focus really focus on what I can control instead of what already done or what I could not control. And uh, it make my trading more effortlessly and it make my, it bring me the peace of mind. And that's really important to me because even I make money, but if I lose so money, but if I lose my mind during that period, it didn't feel right to me so i'm gonna keep you updating i'm gonna see you on the next update hello youtube so from the channel right now i want to update that i just close this trade right here manually and i also got stop it out as a uh, gbb cad trade as well so right now i don't have any trade open and from last friday until now three days and i lost 10 trade in a row and i will say that there are a lot of the trade even i did enter in the trade using people ex uh, people retracement and uh people extension but obviously when i reevaluate the trade there are a lot of trade I shouldn't take. There are a lot of trade that when I look back and 
using higher time framing perspective, mark down the support and resistance, and trend line as well on higher time framing. There are a lot of trades I shouldn't take, but I did take them anyway. So the Z is one of my problem, and and when I review all of these trade, out of ten trade, there is two good trade. What I mean by good trade is that there are trade that I don't feel like losing is a problem at all. For me, a problem is when I lose a trade by not following my analysis or I detect a trade like without consider the things that I usually do and that is something I consider is a bad trade. And out of 10 trade, I mean losing trade. Only two are good trade and the remain are bad trade. So that is something on me. And uh, definitely I will need to slow down a little bit. Take one to two trade at a time and make sure that I will not get into the bad trade. Right here you can see that even I have a two losing trade, but my bias is correct. And that means it is something wrong with my execution level, but for the 10 trade that I took, it's more of a uh, first thing is a correlation problem. The second thing is I I went against the high time frame perspective without realizing it. And I'm not emotional or something. It just I see the problem and I would try my best to to overcome this drawdown. So only two days and we are already down from 18R to 10, 10R. And that's why something. So I'm gonna slow down to make sure that I'm gonna come back properly. We know the problem. We need to keep our shit together. We slow it, we slow down our trading execution and uh, we find our way back by executing more good trade and evaluate the trade opportunity more care carefully to make sure that it fit our trading model instead of just zooming the trade and because for me one of the problem is that usually we we have a tendency to to see that trade that look very similar like what we usually trade but in reality when we look back somehow it's not and and that's something that I will have to work on for sure yeah, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna see you on the next update. All right, YouTube. So uh, this is a new trade on uh, free London Fibo retracement targeting this region right here, risking the same zero point three. Um, this is the only trade opening right now. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep uh, trading and uh, doing my best. I gotta keep you updating. So far, city is the only trade left. Today we have a four losing trade and uh, currently one opening trade. See you on the next update. Hello YouTube. So uh, a quick update on uh, London section. You can see that my EU trade had his stop loss. So uh, we are down 5R for the day. And um, I just have another trade on uh, Euro GBY right here. Right here. And uh, this is the only trade I have opening right now. Price trigger, so it's a buy limit around here. Around here. Yeah. And uh, the tech profit is up here. Risk reward is one to three. So I got to say that uh, I am on quite a losing streak, but I'm not really feeling like I you too. The fundamental of losing streak is that I was wrong on quite a lot of trade. I took a lot of trades I shouldn't. And 
losing streak is always burn me out slowly. Even that I don't feel like I used to be, but it always burned out. It 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 just always have the same effects on the trader. And I have to accept that I have a lot of poor entry and I didn't feel that my trade like good enough. During the kind of situation, I think that it's better for me to just focus on my thing, study what I can, and keep doing things that I believe and learn from my loss. And then the result will speak for itself because it didn't matter if I talk this and that, but eventually I still keep losing, right? So that's the reason why for me right now, focusing on myself, focusing on getting quality trade and reduce the trade, the bad trade out of my sample size is something very important. Look like it's not going to be an uh, easy week for me, but I will keep you updating. That trade was stopped out too. And I am going shopping to uh, forget about the drawdown. <laughs> I am eating to forget about the shutdown. My dog told me to forget about the shutdown and keep trying. Another dog told me to forget about the shutdown and keep trying. Right? Wednesday, the 6th of September, 2023. Hello, YouTube. So, right now is a new day. Asia section. So yesterday after London section, I took some time off in a New York section and really evaluate my trading because obviously I took a lot of poor trades and they really affect my trading performance and right now is Asia section. I have a one betting order using 50 level of people with retracement using this swing right here cover a key level you can see how price reaction at this level and i am targeting this level right here on a feeble extension and it also be around this resistant level as well and this trade is around one to four r when I play this trade, it is around here, around this reason. But I don't want to formal and enter the trade early, so I use uh, a buy limit order right here. And uh, obviously, right now it's cheaper and it's going down. But from all the perspective, for me, that is a good trade. And when I lost a trade and it is a good trade, I waited for the entry patiently, then I don't really have any problem with that trade. The problem is when I took a lot of trade, but when I look back, I don't want to understand how the hell did I take that trade. That is something that I really have to start to like reevaluate and stop doing this type of poor trading execution the the better i can filter my trading opportunity the more i can focus on taking good trade and uh, stay sideline when there no trade or being okay with have a no trade and have a like less trade but better quality and uh, that way, when I got into drawdown, out, it is way easier for me to get back to break even. So that is probably the only trade for a zero section. I'm going to go out, so uh, I'm not going to monitor this trade. It's going to be stop loss or take profit as usual. So I know that we are in a drawdown and uh, it's not a good time, but it's just a part of the game. 
and I don't have any like intention to give up or to say thing say any other thing besides the fact that I I was wrong on many trade. I just think I shouldn't and I deviate from my rules and yeah, I just take all this uh, responsibility and let's see if we can actually get out of the trial. I'm gonna really focus on the quality of the trade. Having all of you together in this journey, it actually gives me a lot of energy to 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 make myself more disciplined. Because believe it or not, when I try to help people, I actually trying to help myself as well. Because I can do sh like sh shitty trading when I'm alone, but when I I'm trading in front of other, I want to convey a message. I want to convey a good habit. That's really why I'm going to do my best. Hello YouTube, so I want to update the situation. Now is midnight open and uh, the trade on uh, Azir, in Azir, it was stopped out. So you can see that, so for me this trade, when I told you, it actually a good trade. For me, it's still a good trade. So you can see that price trade down to my stop lock and then it's go back to the correct buyer. So for me, that is still a good trade, but my stop lock get it too too tight. So obviously, the way I calculate my stop lock, it will it was not good enough, and that is something that I have to work on. So that is the first losing trade of the day. Here I want to show you. Here, so I lost euro bond three in the commission. It's a little bit high. So here is a new trade on Euro GBY. I want to show you the new trade. So far, this is the only trade that I'm seeing right now. I was seeing the trade when it all the way up here, but uh, when I evaluate everything and come back, price trade down. So when I see it hanging around with the 50 level of people retracement of this swing, I actually take the trade and targeting all the way down here for the FIBO extension of negative one. So currently I am in the trial down. That's the reason why I am taking every single trade really seriously and focus on taking one good trade at a time. I'm gonna keep you updating. I know that it's very hard to watch, especially when I am in the trial down, but uh, I can hardly try my best. Let's get out of the trial down and keep moving forward, okay? See you on the next update. Hello YouTube. So uh, I just opened up another trade on uh, EU. The risk reward is around 2.4. And uh, I want to uh, show you the previous trade as well. So here is a previous trade. Price trade really low, low and really close to my take profit, 3.6. And then eventually it revert back to my entry in the London section right now. And when I reevaluate the trade, I, ac I actually see that price can actually trade lower. That's the reason why instead of being feared that price is going to hit my stop lot kind of stuff. I see this move up as a new opportunity for a new trade. And I enter another trade right here. So so that is two trade on the same pair. Different time. Let's see if we can actually hit TB or stop loss. We are risking 3000 right now in total risk exposure for 9000. The trade on uh, the sell limit on uh, GU, it didn't hit. Price right now is trade down. So uh, that is uh, only two opening trade on uh, GU. I think that Christian Pal is gonna go lower, but you can see I cover my sell limit right here, and then I move it up here. And obviously we uh, we didn't get a trade, but anyway, if we miss a trade, we miss a trade. I'm not trying to chase this now because. If I chase this now, it's going to be a very low probability trade. 
and uh, when I am in drawdown, the most important thing is I need to slow my execution down and really focus on uh, seeking the winning trade. So this only two trade for now. I'm gonna keep you updating line market condition. So you can see that the trade that I got stopped L in the uh, easy session NZD cat. Um, we got stop it L and then it went right to the tech profit. So that is one of the good trade that we have at the bias right, but our entry and stop lock is still too tight that we got out before the market actually run into our favor. And uh, that is one of the trade that I actually feel normal to to lose because I got the bias right and everything actually align with each other but my stop up is too tight and that is something that i will have to work on hello youtube so i want to update all the trade today was close as stop loss and uh, i am currently down around one percent for the day and probably i will uh, stop so for now probably i am under 12 or 13 losing trade in a, a row so on the trade copier you can see that this week i am down 20k that means all the way from five percent i am currently just a little more than one percent so i lost four percent in the 13 12 trades whatever and I think that it's really hard. Not about the drawdown itself. Yes, drawdown is hard, but when you are recording and uh, a lot of people are watching, it's a little bit harder. I think that is the reason why a lot of people don't really share their losses. Because to be honest, there are no thing to talk about. So from the channel, you can see that from last Friday until now, I have been losing 15 trade in a row. And my win rate come all the way from 60% to only 28% right now. Well, <laughs> during, during the periods, I don't know uh, what to say. But let's talk about today. So today, to be honest, even that I lost three trade, I'm gonna say that today most of my trade are very well organized and well planned. Still a little bit wrong and in the way that I place my stop loss and in the way that I calculate my take profit. But so far, I'm gonna say that today are all good trade. And that's what really matters to me when I or I am mindful enough to execute good trades only. Because I know that if I can do that over the long period of trade, sorry, over a period long period of time, I'm gonna find my way to filter out the poor trade and eventually I will eliminate a lot of losing streak as well as improving my win rate to a higher number. I know that right now it's very difficult to watch. So uh, you can come back when uh, I started winning again. Even myself when I'm doing this, <laughs> it's not the first time I got into drawdown, but sometimes I got out, sometimes I don't. And there are certain people gonna zoom in in every video that I am losing so uh, I am expect that I'm expecting that but uh, like always I'm gonna do my best one of the good thing that is that you can see that today I didn't really over trade I'm pretty happy with the trade that I took I am pretty happy that with current sizing and current risk parameter it doesn't really make me impulsive or over trading and that's something that i feel really good and yeah i know the result look pretty <laughs> i 
I have no, I have nothing to say but repeating the same sentence. I'm going to do my best. So uh, I'm gonna rest. It's gonna be a long day. So the thing about losing streak is that the more trade I lost, the harder it is to to trade more and more. So I, I'm gonna slow things down a little bit and come back tomorrow. Thursday, the seventh of September, twenty twenty-three. Hello, YouTube. So right now is A zero section, a new day. You can see that I actually have a one trade in the on New Zealand CH app. And currently I am in chart out and uh yeah, people retracement targeting the extension up here. And uh, beside that I also have a sell limit on uh EU, but uh I am expecting that it's gonna hit on uh London or pre London. So here is a sell limit and uh my buy today for EU is down, you can see it's down here. So risk reward is around three point around three R, and uh, for NZD CHF, the risk reward is to about three point five or yeah three point eight something. Here is how it look on a trading view. I am basically just using people retracement, buying at the support level and targeting the next resistance level up here light up with feeble extension in eu i basically using z swing waiting for a price to hit the 61.8 and uh expecting today is a bearish day to the next support level right here so here is the dashboard of an engineer you can see that i got a really good start to almost like five percent but i am in a chart out and it slowly slowly <laughs> go up uh, go down here so recently you can see that i got negative six thousand negative nine thousand and uh yeah today i got negative five thousand again so during a chart out especially when i am recording i gotta say that i have no problem to admit that there are a lot of trade that i didn't take it seriously like the trade it looked like my setup, but it's not, and I executed the trade too fast. I was impatient. I was now there a little bit, a huge difference between being impulsive, being emotional, and like over trading, revenge trading, something like that. I am going to admit that there are a lot of things that I did wrong on the trade that I took. Like in 15 trade that I have been losing, like more than half of them are were like bad trades, and I didn't I didn't feel those out. Somehow my mind still perceive them as my trading setup, and when I took it, and then I lost, and then I reevaluate, and then I saw like why the hell did I take take that trade, and I think this problem actually more common than i imagine like a lot of us i believe we our mind is very complicated sometimes we just simply don't see any setup but because we want to be in the market somehow our mind create some kind of illusion and before we knew it we actually enter some trade and then we regret we doubt ourselves we get our strategy, we have like self sabotage and we let the emotion took us from there. And the difference between me right now and me in the past is that I actually awareing this problem and I actually know that right now is actually the right time for me to deal with it. And let be honest, I don't give a shit about how you think you know me or how you think like i should do this i should do that and because for me trading is a very personal thing and when i say i have no emotion on the trade i mean it because being aware of a problem and being able to truly solve that problem and overcome it it requires time it requires 
consistent practice and it requires mindfulness. Apply anything in life, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. And uh, I have been backtesting, like, let me show you. So I have uh, been backtesting a lot, forward testing as well. And the backtesting stuff you are seeing right now, I took a lot of trade. And I didn't really seriously, like, confirm a lot of things. Like, I did take the trade based on my trade strategy, people retracement. And you can see that even I didn't use a lot of confluences it turned out to be profitable after a huge set of sample size so that means that when i actually forward testing and apply more confluences i know for a fact that my my strategy is going to work pretty well but in reality what prevent me from profitability is more about me doing silly things me getting hope into poor trade the trade that looked really similar like my trading strategy but it, it but in reality it's not and even i am aware of that problem and even i know that my the way i am trading a lot of pairs the way i am seeing a lot of opportunity and easily get hope into the opportunity even i i, I know that but in order to solve that problem it requires a lot of time. It doesn't like you watch a video or you see some some indicator, you ask more confluences and it's gonna work out. Say so more into it. And you can see that I don't over trading, I don't over risking right now. I don't try to revenge trade. I am really trying to slow down and being aware of what's really happening because I am tired of risking hues, trying to make it here and there and lose everything and back to square one trading is supposed to be a long journey with consistency and with two rubber beauty and we're supposed to have a, a track record as our trader identity and from there we're gonna scale to millions in funding and whatever but somehow we just pass one challenge pass two challenge and we get a payout and we, we get back to phase one and we pass again we get some PL, we lost the account proper as long as you are net profitable you should be fine but in the long term when we are trading like capital we don't have a reset button when we are managing like private private cap capital we don't have a that reset button we we could not just come back to phase one phase two just like that we need to be consistent. We need to be compact from every single drawdown. And that is really what makes us different from the rest and what makes us like a professional. Trading, when you got into years of trading, you're going to rely on uh, reality that you don't want to trade. You want to be trading and living and somehow trading never bother your life anymore. It means shit. If you are trading, making a lot of money, but you are taking the phone all day, you got you are losing a lot of moments in life and having a really imbalanced mental health. You make money, yes, but you're gonna give back time, you're gonna give back a lot of energy, you're gonna give back life. And that's not what I'm trying to do right now. That's the reason why I'm very, very aware about my problem and I'm gonna work my ass off to overcome this trial and yeah, I'm gonna give you Give you updated. So currently we have a, a sell limit which is very close to trigger on EU and we have have a uh, long on NGDCAF. I will keep you updating on any upcoming trade. So that what I just say is what I really want you to take to the heart. If that reflects something to you, if that resonates to you, and I'm not really trying to project my beliefs into your reality. It's more about a reflection and if it means something to you, then I'm very grateful. But if not, then just drop it. Don't take it personally. I'm going to see you on the next update. Hello, YouTube. So uh, I want to update the situation. Right now is New York session. I have one of the buy limit order on NCD CAF. Besides the 
uh, regional entry in the Asia section. So my order right here. Now I just have a one of my my limit using this feeble retracement and uh try to down trigger it, but uh the momentum is quite strong. I have another uh, my limit on C H D C H F, but uh it didn't trigger. And you can see right here. So that is a buy limit, but uh very close but never trigger. So uh that's quite unfortunate. This trade is actually better than this one, but this one actually trigger. To be honest, this one <laughs> I was thinking about uh, canceling and uh keeping this one is that. But anyway, we uh move on. So uh the trade on EU, the sell limit on EU actually trigger really uh beautiful you can see that it trigger right here right at the feeble 61.8 and it trade down massive massively and uh very close to uh pretty close to uh tech profit as well so i gotta keep holding so here is a trading view um the so first trade this morning on uh nzd cap right here you can see that current Currently, price is consolidating at a, a key level, and uh, my target is actually on the next key level, and I'm going to hold until there. A new trade that I should place is actually on uh, the same pair. It's more like a short-term play on a five-minute chart. Here's a feeble retracement, and uh, here it has a trade look like. To be honest, this trade doesn't look really good to be honest compared to the trade that I chose this morning and uh, the EU trade so far the EU trade have been unfolding really beautiful like there are no drawdown at all the sell limit got checker and uh, it just go down from uh, Asia to London and now it's New York, New York section and I have I actually expect my target to be hit it's around uh, 3.2R so I think I'll keep you updating so far we have a tree trade open and uh, probably that's it for today I don't see any more opportunity for today and uh, so today we have our uh, two good trade and uh, one pretty average trade and that's it I'm pretty happy with how I really spend my time to take only the good trade and really waiting for the betting order to be hit. I know that we are not knowing the result of the tree trade yet, but uh, it is quite obviously for me uh, that the process of taking the trade, the process of getting into the trade and how I plan the trade, it actually means more to me right now than the result, the PL, because I know that when I do the right thing over the long period of time, if I can repeating that same good habit, profit is just a matter of time. I'm gonna keep you updating. So the one trade that I <laughs> I missed today, you can see here is uh, GBB CAD. I have a sell a bit on that tr on that pair, and uh, here you have look on uh, trading view. I was missing a, a little bit, like just around five bips away, and you can see the price uh, straight down massively, and uh, very close to TB right here. So uh, that is pretty, really good trade for R, but I miss it. So yeah, sometimes see things happen, but uh, I got to keep my self play like, to focus on what really matter because that is the only way for me to get out of the chart out and stay away from getting back into chart outs again so i gotta see you on the next update so far i'm happy with how things go today how i managed myself how i took every trade and doesn't matter the result i love the process i see you on the next update friday the 8th of september 2023 city has a first trade of the day you can see right here and uh, yet today let me uh, tell you what happened 
on uh, the tree trade yesterday. So the first thing is the trade on. Uh, so you can see that yesterday when price trade uh, up here, I think my take profit is somewhere up here. So on this trade, when I see price trade above this key level and then it's trade down, for me it's, it's fake count and uh, it actually reached the average to run. So I close the trade around probably somewhere around here for uh, 1.2 or not much. Yeah. And uh, this one, I actually close at a uh, break even, like here. So because I, uh, yeah, this trade, it trade up here and I close at break even when I trade down here. So uh, for NZD CHF pair, I actually secure around uh, 1.2R. And uh, on EU, I actually close the trade around here and uh, I secure around 2.2R. So. So yesterday I, I got around 3.3R, not much, but still a uh, winning day, 100% try rate, and uh, only winning trade. Yesterday is the only thing that I had to remind myself that I need to work more on my tech profit because you can see that yesterday the uh, most amount of R that I got is around 6, 7R, yeah 7R. But uh. Eventually, I end up with 3 bonus, 3R, so that is not a good performance. And that is something I had to take to my heart too, and doing things more careful, carefully. So I think that I, I'm going to keep you updating on uh, the new trade. So far, it is feeble retracement, uh, very humble target. <laughs> and uh, because in uh, Acer, I don't expect a lot of movement, so I'm targeting a little bit lower than I usually do. But let's see how things unfold. I'm gonna keep you updating. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. And before we end this update, I actually wanted you to understand that when I compare between brokers and uh, firms, this information is more like educational and you should like not take the information like to complain. And because every of us, we're gonna have like very different experiences depend on what pair we trade what section we trade and yeah and how tight our stop loss is the loss side see things matter a lot in terms of trading experiences with our prop firm it didn't look very good <laughs> so we're gonna see you on the next update Hello YouTube. So uh, as you can see, I should play a new trade on Aero USD EU. So uh, I want to update about the about the trade this easier section. Um, it hit me to it hit my stop loss and then uh, straight back down to take profit. It was not uh, really a good trade. And uh, to be honest, I will really have to stop trading five minutes on uh, the pairs because with Profirm and with a slip edge and with a copier and with huge amount of account linking together, trading five minutes or one minute, it doesn't, it just doesn't sell right. And probably I will focus more on higher time framing, like 15 minutes and above. So that was the first trade, stop it out, not a really good trade at all. I want to uh, update on the trade I took too, on uh, Euro USD. Here is how it looked like on a uh, one hour perspective. Here is a, is a swing I am using for the feeble retracement. I am targeting down here. This trade is around uh, 2.6R. And uh, so far, this is the only trade I can see right now. So, uh, and that is Friday, so probably we will not have a lot of trade. And uh, so far this week, I want to have a little sum up as well. Here, how it looked like for the week. I I lost plenty of trade, and uh, I am currently down around 11 R. I will keep you updating later, and uh, we will summarize throughout the week and for sure that this week I make a lot of mistakes and 
I took a lot of poor trades. There's no excuse for that. I'm actually gonna set it up and uh, study from my loss and keep going. So uh, see things are the reason why I took the slow path and uh, risking less so that I have a time to study more about my behaviors and uh, my trading result as well. And I will keep you updating as usual. See you. Hello YouTube. So uh, I just enter another trade on Euro GBY. Here is how the trade look like on a uh, trading view. So uh, currently we have a two trade: Euro USD and Euro GBY. So uh, I am uh, hiking with my dog and uh, hiking around and seeing your dog play. Just enjoy every single moment of life. You started to appreciate things more as well. So they let it off, but they teach me a lot of big lesson in life. And yeah, just gratitude and so much love. I'm gonna see you on the next update. Hello YouTube, so that is the final update of the episode 3. So for this week, I have been trading 18 trades, but I win only 2 trades. I was down from 18 R to only 5 R left. So the so first few days, I was pretty aggressive, but I never really over risk or trying to do something too stupid. And then eventually, I realized that there was something wrong in my trades and after spending time and reviewing my trades I slowing down on uh, Wednesday, Thursday and uh, Friday I didn't I didn't take a lot of trades like on Monday and Tuesday so after total of 33 trades here is how the PNL look like so you can see that the top the top two are Fnatic Max and TFT and FXFI and FTMO are very close to each other and obviously the problem with thin market they are kind of underperforming so uh, probably I will not choose thin markets the next time but it's very hard to know exactly probably maybe commission maybe just a little slippage a little slow execution and uh, it's a difference in spread as well if you are trading major pair and trading higher time framing you will not see a lot of difference but, but because I am trading 50 minutes and I trading a lot of pairs so probably there's some something that lead to this kind of underperformance but to be honest if the problem is good and the problem is still paying I don't mind this slippage at all I know they exist I know that it's one of the problem of certain broker or even certain platform but I will try to find a solution or optimize my way of trading to actually overcome this hardship instead of just trying to complain because if you don't like it you move on if you decided to stay then you find a solution you trade better and you pass all the challenge anyway so I want to show you after around 300 tray of forward testing and 500 tray of back testing. I can see that the chart that I usually facing it's like 10, 20 trades in a row, and I think that's quite abnormal. And I'm figuring things out to actually optimize it or move on with my next strategy. Here is a, another strategy that I am back testing. You can see that the win rate is pretty good. And here's how it looked like for this strategy. I don't use high risk reward. I take what market give me. I actually drop the the definition of risk reward. I trade based on what I see. I take what market give me, and uh, my stop loss is very safe, and my take profit is very reliable. And during the test of 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months. The return is pretty nice. City based on one percent a trade, and the trading frequency is based on one hours and four hour perspective. And the max loss streak, the max loss streak, and the max win streak is basically similar. So I know that my current strategy, the feeble retracement, it has something like the risk of ruin, the risk of getting into trade out. They are pretty huge, and but from the statistical edge, it's still profitable. But handling the cap trade out and trying to pass the challenge is quite difficult. That is the reason why I am doing the challenge. Not only to show you, to be honest, I didn't want to show you, but I realized that there are going to be a lot of values in this video. That's the reason why it depends on your perspective, how you, you take things. You got to learn so much. You're going to reflect a lot of things. And that's what I'm trying to do. Even uh, showing this loss sometimes. There are a lot of people just wait for my loss and they comment. <laughs> they never comment on my wins or my payouts. They never comment. But it's going to get a little dirty when I, I show my loss. So I want to tell you that the difference between me right now and me before is that right now, even I am in trade out, I don't have a fear. Because you can see that even I, I got myself into the trade out. Here in FTMO, you can see that my losses, they are pretty much consistent. I mean about the sizing and uh, the risk. They stay at 0 0.3 as I mentioned. And here is how the daily PNL look like. I usually trade from uh, three, five trades a day, set and forget, and uh, I don't really try to go hard like I used to. But look like the chart is still one of the issues that I need to work on. But right now, I am in chart without fear. What what does that mean? Does that mean that when you have a risk parameter that fit your trading model, your trading strategy, even you are losing, you have a no earth to like revenge trade or you have a no intention to force trade right now i do have the unlimited day of trading so i don't have any like pressure to actually force myself to try to show up or something because i am not selling anything right now <laughs> maybe it's a, tomorrow i will do some, some sell some shit and because I don't have any hidden agenda. I don't need to show up. I don't need to do anything, to be honest. I don't need to continue YouTube. And all of the factors, they come together. And here we are with the series. And so me right now, without fear, what I mean is that I know my strategy is not perfect. I know my performance is still a little sloppy here and there. And I am actually butting myself into the situation in front of you so that i can have the opportunity again to overcome this trial i'm not meaning that i try to lose but i mean that if i keep the same style of trading sooner or later i'm going to get into trials again and this time instead of being fearful and being like emotional i am really focused on the stat i'm focus on studying my losses and I'm focusing to show you what it's really like to be a trader because the moment I don't know about you but I got a lot and chart out is like a part of traders life and putting myself out there doing this video if I fail it's gonna be very difficult for me um it's just difficult I get you to people say shit about me, but if too many of it, it, it may get into uh, my head. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to keep back testing my another strategy. It's more based on different things. It's not fit. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of strategy. But the reason I'm still trading feeble retracement because I have more data of this strategy more than any strategy that I have. That's the reason why I am doing this series with that strategy. But from what I'm seeing right now, 
even I really lower my risk significantly, the way the equity curve, the way Tradel really goes so deep, it means something missing and I'm studying the thing and um, the part of trade life. So probably, probably, I don't know, but uh, the, the, the next episode, maybe I'm going to slow things down a little bit, trading higher time framing, really take my time to see what is the problem and how I'm going to fix it. I don't want to force myself to re release the video regularly because that is going to mess thing up with my trading and that's the, the last thing I want. I want values but I want a, be a better life for myself as well and find my, fa fa <laughs> my family too. Um, so yeah, probably that is a goodbye. Really, really thankful to be a part of this journey and shout out i know many of you out there are into that as well and you are thinking that it's unusual because your guru your mentor they are winning every single fucking day they are withdrawing every day and see things just make you feel less about yourself but the reality is we are all the same trading has more actors than Hollywood, to be honest, and a lot of people are just very good at faking things. That's the reason why I really try my best to show you what it's like, and really want to overcome this chart out too, to show you that we can do it, and to show you that trading can be something that we can pursue. Yeah, thank you again for staying, thank you for being here, being a part of my journey. Either I'm gonna fail or I'm gonna lose or I'm gonna win. I should love the way I am. And I have no intention to be something else, something go against my values. Um, I'm gonna see you on the next video. Stay tuned. If you cannot watch me uh, losing, probably come back later when I start winning again. Because that is a part of the game. Winning is nice, but losing is where you actually transform